From here, uh, it's very important to uh, make him a little bit confused with this point. Not this. Maybe this. Okay, you feel it. And after I break the balance, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Be care, yeah. Be careful. So and your left leg and okay <laughs> you can uh, play a little bit beginning is very important uh, so, and it's easy one two three four and you come Whop. okay and now I can fight more whatever you want Okay, from here, one, two, yes, one, two, control, yeah, distance, one, two, yeah, <laughs> he makes step, I make step, I want, I want, I want to win, yeah, Okay, I give my hand. Okay, <laughs> he look what said, and pop for the hand for my hip, whoop, and from here, tuck and down, tuck and down. <laughs> you can do more, more, more. <laughs> it's not easy, and it's very easy. Okay, do it, please. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, cool, <laughs> nice, did you just, did you just get him suited up after we started talking about that? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, someone decided to surprise me this, so, okay, one, two, he kicks with this leg. You can see as he kicks, this comes up. It allows you to kick underneath it while his leg is still in the air. Okay, this was, this was up here. You're kicking here. Okay, you're extending with the elbow to open this up. So you can you can put the you can put it there if it's. Of course, this type of thing depends on the type of armor it is as well. But if there's room, you can go here or string and and down. Okay, okay. so outside block. The kick comes in. Meet it and then follow, okay? Up and here, okay? Leg, spine, and then walk, okay? So, okay, one, okay, here, step to, to transfer this. You can see that this is really affecting his, his balance, okay? Step back, open, down, okay, and then keep this open. If you if you if you go to apply the the neck attack and do this, you know, it's, it's not so good. Okay, so after here, leave this open while you set your foot and then twist in here, so your your elbow is continuously up. Okay, 
guarding against that. Take another step with your left to, to twist like we did with uh, Koku too, right? Okay. And then you can uh, grab something here, for example, underneath, underneath here. Just to, I mean, step, extend, and then slam down this way. Okay. I really enjoy uh, the Kaigo Sudo seminar, and, and even though it is only my second time participating, I, I've heard about it uh, a long time ago and uh, have seen, you know, all the all the past videos and talked to many people who have participated. And um, just the, I, I really like the aspect of having a seminar where there are are. Uh, multiple instructors teaching because um, as someone just said during the Q&A um, you get so many different like uh, facets or, or viewpoints on on the training and uh, there's so many different like uh, windows that you can that you can see things through and um, and uh, just the, just the number of people that that come together for it and the, the really good friendly atmosphere that everyone has I think it's one of the best um, training opportunities outside of Japan in my personal opinion <laughs> okay, okay, all right, cool. <laughs> nice. Did you just did you just get him suited up after we started talking about yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Someone decided to surprise me this, so. Okay. One, two. He kicks with this leg. You can see as he kicks, this comes up. It allows you to kick underneath it while his leg is still in the air. Okay, this was, this was up here. You're kicking here. Okay. You're extending with the elbow to open this up. So you can, you can put the, you can put it there if it's, of course, this type of thing depends on the type of armor it is as well. But if there's room, you can go here or string and, and down. Okay. okay. So outside block. The kick comes in, meet it, and then follow. Okay. Up and here. Okay. Leg, spine, and then walk. Okay. So, okay. One. Okay. Here, step to, to transfer this. You can see that this is really affecting his, his balance, okay? Step back, open, down, okay? And then keep this open. If you, if you, if you go to apply the, the neck attack and do this, you know, it's, it's not so good, okay? So after here, leave this open while you set your foot and then twist in here so your, your elbow is continuously up okay guarding against that take another step with your left to to twist like we did with uh, Koku too right okay and then you can uh, grab something here for example underneath underneath here just to I mean step extend and then slam down this way Okay. I really enjoy uh, the Kaigo Sudo seminar, and, and even though it is only my second time participating, I, I've heard about it uh, a long time ago and uh, have seen, you know, all the, all the past videos and talked to many people who have participated. And um, just the, I, I really like the aspect of having a seminar where there are, are uh, multiple instructors teaching because, um, as someone just said during the Q&A, um, you get so many different like uh, facets or, or viewpoints on on the training and uh, there's so many different like uh, windows that you can that you can see things through and um, and uh, just the, just the number of people that that come together for it and the the really good friendly atmosphere that everyone has I think it's one of the best um, 
training opportunities outside of Japan, in my personal opinion. Still use this movement. Okay, so it's the same from big to small movements. This arm and move the arm, body to the side. Okay, then you can do whatever you want. What you usually do. Okay, try. Training from positions like this that is feels quite impossible to do something. It's good training. But in a real, a real fight, you don't want anyone to come this close with your knife to the throat. So, but it's in training, it's a very good opportunity to, to try to test your skills. And, uh, but in real fighting, you don't let anyone come this close. You understand? The same with the basic techniques, for example, the kimhapo, standing like this. In training, you can do, try to get this loose with one hand. That's a basic training. But in a real situation, when he's grabbing, you don't really want him to get a good grip at all. We're at Kaigusuri at the moment, and you've been organizing Kaigusuri for quite a while. How many years? Uh, the first one was in 1997. And since it was a big success, you've been, you know, kept going with it? Yeah. And I also had a lot of help with other people. I'm not the only one who's helping with the organization through all these years. But I've been uh, involved in it for the whole time. Uh, at this type of training, like Kaigusuri, you just get the feeling. Because uh, there are so many instructors, very good instructors, and uh, just try to get the feeling. And uh, you can uh, see how the instructors move today, even if you don't understand, you will understand uh, later. Or get the feeling of how to do it when you become more experienced. And back in the dojo, for the beginners, what to focus on? The basics. Kyunhapo, Sash no Kata, Ukimi. All the basics. Let's do the last part of it. And also, there's a lot of room in here, but we are, how many are we? 140 people here? So please don't do the human windmill of death to kill the entire area around you. Be careful with what you do, especially if you have those uh, wooden sticks. So from here, throw it up. Ski, whoops, ski, and then here. That's what we did. So from here, you 
bring it up underneath to open him up. And then you do a ski again towards the throat. And you move up and do a sweep towards the leg. Yes, let's just do the last part. From here, he has blocked. Move here. So when this happens, when he throws it up, he's not going to want me to touch his, his the stuff here because I will angle my sharp side upwards. So I'm maybe going to hook his his stuff here. I can pull him here if I kind of connect good to his stuff. So don't let him. The bow person should not allow the stuff to hit the sword. I will just defend myself initially here so I can go in and kill him later. So from here, he's going to pull in and then thrust. And when you come to this one, just don't do like this. Yeah, that will probably happen anyway, but here, from here, when the attack comes in, lock, use the, the spine. And then in. So from here, don't just stand there. He's going to jump forward and killing me because I'm just doing nothing. So from here, just kind of put some tension on him. Okay? So, uh, how do you like Kagesuri? Uh, it's a very good experience. I think it's uh, good to see that people are coming to uh, seminars like this. There's a lot of instructors coming and sharing their knowledge and feeling of what we're doing with, this, with Hatsumi Sensei's Budo. And I, yeah, I think it's a real good thing. And I hope it will continue on for as long as the organizers, you people, can do it. Uh, I think it's uh, important to, to, for, for new people that start training that they, they grasp the form first before they start doing henka because I see a lot of people that uh, uh, they start out with the technique and then they do their own stuff and uh, doing your own stuff is basically in my mind high level training. I think you should stick to what your instructor is doing and just doing that and when he gives you free hands doing henkas and whatever, then I think you should do that, but not before that. When he throws this punch, you come into here, or drop that, but now this hand's going to come back here, it's going to come right into the throat here, and just take the throat right out right there. As you see, go ahead, this is going to hit here, and this is going to hit right here. Going to catch a seam right there in the eye with the knuckles. You do that, they don't get back up. So, in this case, you're going to punch with that arm there, because this is my bad one here. Everybody see what happened? <laughs> All that's happening here is I'm doing this. Coming right into him here, taking right down with just a little pressure on the nose. So, what do you think about Kaikosuru? I've always enjoyed it here. Uh, I missed it last year because I couldn't make it on the flights, they were full. But I think I'd attended the three before then in a row. And I think this type of format is the future of the Bujinkan, where you have a number of, of good instructors teaching, and you have the students benefit from benefiting from seeing all these different presentations of the art. Because each instructor is going to show it a little bit differently. That doesn't make it better or worse or right or wrong, it's just different. And that's an important thing, because your taijutsu is going to be different from anybody else's. It's going to be developed to fit you personally. One of the things about our art is that it adjusts to a fit the individual, not the other way around. I, I would point this, we have an opportunity right now. The opportunity is for all of us in the art now to set the future philosophy of the Bujinkan. I asked Dr. Hatsumi a few years back what his expectations were for the Bujinkan after he stopped teaching, which is going to happen sooner or later. We all know that. 
I hope it's much, much later. But he said he wasn't worried that we had good people and they'll take care of it. So then maybe we ought to be talking about that now, about how we can network, how we can work together, how we can cooperate, how we can set it up so the person who's most important is taken care of, and that's the student. The most important person in this art is a student. They're the future. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, thank you for being there. Okay, so the main idea in the uh, in the in in, in the Gyokoryu is the concept of koku. So now forget about the form, the one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you have to put koku in everything you do, and you have to be nothing. One of the major uh, things this year is to understand the Kazumi no Ho. It's a Kukishinden uh, principle, but Kazumi no Ho is the law, the principle of uh, fog. Okay? Fog, you can see it, but you cannot grasp it. And this is basically what you have to do with your Taijutsu. Now, whatever the distance, you have to be soft. The guy is coming in, it's one. And there is no strength at all. You use mainly your elbows. He's coming in, it's one and soft. What can you do? <coughs> okay. Distance. When he comes, it's one and you have to be vertical here. Now, when you move to him, he will open to the left or to the right. If he's opening to the left, that's the regular omote shito. If the guy for some reason is uh, opening to the other side, then you have the ura shito. I mean martial arts I don't know, but the Bujinkan martial arts is about uh, living. It's about understanding life. You know, uh, with the Bujinkan I learned to uh, to manage uh, big groups, I mean, organize two Taikais in Paris. Uh, I learned to travel the world. You know, I'm giving seminars all over the world now, so it's good for my uh, practice in English and uh, también español. Uh, uh, you learn uh, how to write books, to uh, to be acting, to speak to the camera. You know, uh, but apart from that, um, the Hatsumi Sense is martial arts is teaching you. Uh, how to uh, live as a human being. You know, a Bujin is somebody uh, that is uh, not a superhuman, but somebody that is a real human. And that's the main thing about, uh, about uh, this martial art. It's not about hitting and kicking. You can hit and kick. You can ev eventually can, uh, win in a fight, but winning is not the point. The point is to survive, that is not to lose. And if you stay alive, you can apply the same feeling uh, we develop in the dojo to your uh, daily lives. So, any advice for the beginners training Bujinkan? Uh, as I tell the students and uh, as, as I tell the people uh, when I'm giving seminars, the main concern should be uh, all your life to work on the basics. Basics, basics, that is Kamai, Ukemi, Ukenageshi, Kyahapo, Sanchinakata. The rest is just for the fun. Okay, and uh, once you 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 have a good uh, flow in these five areas of Taijutsu, then you can add any weapon. You can uh, train whatever other martial even. It's just a way to understand uh, movement, and movement is a key to your own uh, development. <laughs> Thank you.
so slowly, here is the human, yeah? But I don't go to the posture, I go, and then I cut him on the way down. And I stab him here. He's coming, that's the Jumonji. I'm cutting and pulling in this way. Not this way. This way. Why? This? Okay. Now I'm weak. I just have my hand. Here. Many, many times. Many times. Many times. Here only one time. Strong. Here many times strong. Eh? So don't go in the traps of doing something in the preset way because it's a style. Because remember this. When you fight the person, you don't fight a style. You don't fight a technique. You fight that person. But both hands. Both hands. And I can continue if I have to, eh? because I'm movable. Eh? And he's not. Me. He don't see the knife. Now he gets aware of the knife. So I put the knife in his mind. Next thing is that we do it slow now. Yeah, slow. Is he cut or is he tapped? He don't know that. He saw the knife come down and he felt something. And if you have been cut with a knife, you know you don't feel very much until you get aware of it. So you actually have starting to his combat attitude is destroyed a little bit. So that's the idea. One, two, and then he's hanging. Eh? He's hanging. Yeah, he's hanging. Yeah, yeah. and there you can stab him. Eh? I think uh, Kaigosuri is, uh, is a tremendous idea and uh, I've been lucky to uh, be, if you say, from one of the two first ones and uh, more or less regularly I've been able to be at Kaigosuri last year not. Uh, I, think, I find it a tremendous idea and I hope it will continue and I hope that uh, more people will attend uh, year by year. No, I will just uh, say thank you to everybody who attended uh, Kagusuri this year. I think, uh, as I say many times when I have seminars, if people don't come, I will not come, or the other instructors will come. So please keep on coming, keep on going to those seminars so we are able to share with each other uh, our knowledge or, and our time in, in, the, in the dinners and parties and the small talks. It's very important. Buddha is sharing. Buddha is not leading. Buddha is sharing. Right, so, hope you, to see you next year then. For sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Because I drink uragaku, okay? So never mind. You never, n never know what will be, what you will do. I don't thinking. Maybe now it's omotegaku, okay? Next one will be maybe uragaku. I don't know. And punch, please. Okay. So anything, it's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Same with pistols, okay? So control, you have to control. Understand? So it's the same. Okay, hold on. To custom me. So hope, control, control, control. It's it's uh, taijutsu. Okay. Don't thinking, you don't, uh, you. Uh, you understand practice. Okay. <laughs> Just start no, only the grappy. So now the basic is uh, like ura, okay. But you can umute. Same same point, okay. Oh. Or if you have anything. Okay. 
hands. I think it's okay. <laughs> I understand. So uh, all all beginners are same. We were same too. And what's important is keep going, keep going, keep going. Really. So keep going. Uh, do you have anything else? to share with us about uh, Kaigusuri perhaps or about going to seminars in general? Mm, I'm here maybe three times maybe and I was and I'm satisfied, satisfied so it's very nice organization, nice training uh, everyone have chance have communication and see the different people, different taijutsu, different teachers and also the friends from the world. It's important from the world. One. Right? Yeah. The weight is already forward here. Don't try to kick with this leg. Use the other leg. And when we get him bent down, use the force to get his hand off. It's sometimes difficult to get the hand off your jacket. Right? And then just pull and keep him out here. Don't let him come up again. He's going to punch you. Keep him out here. You can do the Oh, yeah, and finish off Kyokuri's time. So, what I want you to look at now is when he punches, his punch is powerful. It's, it's not just going to get there and stop there. He's, he's, he's going to punch through to go to your face, yeah, and smash your jaw. So, first of all, the thing is, you've got to move out of the way. Even if you move out of the way, he's going to follow up to try to get you, all right? So what I want to focus on here is some of you are doing the block with your arm. Don't do that. Think of Kamai. Kun. Kamai. You feel the difference. It's, it's not a... <coughs> you don't have, if you try to block that, he's, he's through already. You use too much time. Just push your arm straight out and do the Kamai. From here, it's very easy to go in. And be, be strong. Strong. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Good. Come on. Hey, look at this koshi again. Hey, we're good. That. Here we are again, and we can start the way. Uh, I love it here. The best thing with Kaikazuru is that there are so many instructors and it's a, a place to come to, to meet other instructors and, and friends, of course, you know, it's, it's like uh, Taika used to be before uh, they ended the Taikais uh, abroad, so, so now Kaikazuru is the place where you can meet friends and, you know, just have fun, relax. Anything else that you would like to say, share, experience something? No, it's uh, like I said, it's just fun to be here and, and uh, I'm happy every time I get uh, invited here. It's a, it's a good party with a good feeling and uh, I should, people should just learn to kind of share all the experiences that they, uh, they have. Don't, don't hold back anything. It's, uh, it's important to give. The more you give, the more you get back. So when you can have that kind of feeling, it, uh, uh, you can help other people even if you have a lower grade or a different grade, it doesn't matter. You just have to have a kind of good heart. If, you have, if you're good-hearted, you're okay. You can have a bad technique, it's okay, but if you have a bad heart, you, you're not okay.
to be actually closer because then I can manipulate the space better. I can feel it. I can control their body. I know where they are. He can't turn right here at this point. And if he does, I can feel any kind of movement if he wants to make. If he wants to turn on me, then I can just keep moving. So. What I discovered in doing this with him was that I was waiting for a moment thinking I was going to give him an opportunity for the kick because that was the technique. But in that one second I went, oh shit, I'm going to be dead if I let him do that. I could just feel that wasn't the right thing to allow to happen. So I just kept moving because I had that momentum going and avoided the opportunity for him to kick me. And so we kind of talked about that and thought, you know, that really has to do with our, our size and our, the differences. So again, I just am using that as an illustration to see that sometimes you have to trust your instincts, trust your feeling in that moment and, and move in that way and, and then look at it afterwards and see what you can learn from it. Thank you. Oh. Technique, same beginning, so you're just soft. Here, soft. So, speaking of seminars, this is your first time at Keigusuru. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it so far? I think it's fantastic. I've ha I'm having a wonderful time. Everybody has been terrific, very open, uh, very enthusiastic, and motivated. Um, the other instructors are all excellent, so I'm, I'm getting worn out in training in all their classes, but it's really been a, a wonderful time, and I'm treated very well, so thank you for the opportunity. How thank do you. we attract more women to start training in Hmm, That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, if you have more female instructors, then I think more women are, are attracted to going to the seminars because they will want to find a role model. And I know that was true for me in my own training, was looking for some women that I could uh, learn from as well. So having more female instructors more often, I think, is a good beginning to get more women to come to seminars and then for them to start to talk to each other and become friends in the martial arts as well. And then from there they can grow. Mm. I think that it's, I can just say to continue having an open mind and stay humble, most importantly, not let ego or rank get in the way and to keep training, there's always something to learn. One, close, so you have control, control everywhere, here, wherever, see here, from here, Sto. down, here, and kick, yeah, here, you stand beside him immediately, see, to let him, uh, I don't walk this way totally now, so I have to do here, see, this, so he's mine, okay, from here, here, I come, okay, Right? Good. One, two, go in here. Yoko Hoki, take the arm, and you got him. If you do it fast, it looks a little bit different. So now, slowly, this is the end. Okay, one, two, in. Turn. Turn. That's it. Slow. One. So move a little bit. Here, if he's here, see, this is stance. Up. Put your leg here, cross the, the arms. Put him here. Clear. See, one, two, here, bam. Go! <laughs> Thank you for the lesson. <laughs> How do you do? I, 
I think uh, Butcher comes to mix with nine schools, so you can't say I do only this school, this school. So I, well, I pick the things I, I like. I like very much a little bit to put a little bit reality into training, not only the uh, classic way the forms, but to change the forms into uh, something you can use today. Uh, so what do you think about Kaigoser? Love it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's great too, to meet so many people, to meet instructors. And especially because nobody has a big ego here. Mm. We work together, train together, and I think that's very important. <laughs>